Well, I think it's hugely important. You think of what Jesus said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. What does that mean if heaven is just floating around disembodied spirit, there's no tangibility to it? No, Jesus talked about eating and drinking, sitting on a new earth. Uh, they'll come to the table and, and eat with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They'll come from the east and the you west. you think we'll be fat in heaven? We'll <laughs> or maybe I don't know, the... but if we are, we won't care. So. Well, you, you know, and what if the glorified body is just fat and we're all fat and it's good, you know? Or we're all bald, that's another thought. Yeah, thank you. Maybe this is the future for everyone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it could be, you don't know. It could be. Thanks for interjecting that. <laughs> because, Greg, that was so helpful in keeping yes. us in the line in which yeah. we were going. So, I appreciate your But tell us more about heaven and the new earth. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's great. But, but seriously, I mean, laughing. I mean, do you think Satan invented laughter? Mm -hmm. Come on. There's nothing that's amusing about Satan. He has no pleasure anymore. He left all that behind. Yeah. We get our sense of humor from God. We, mm -hmm. It's healthy to laugh. It's therapy to laugh. And you know, I've been with people who, how many memorial services have you been at where somebody will say something and everybody laughs because yeah. they're just waiting to laugh because, and you go, it's not funny that a loved one died and yet God gives us this therapy mm -hmm. of laughter. Humor you know, I, one of the things I talk about in, in the happiness book is Jesus and his sense of humor and his use of irony and, and the, the, the stories of hyperbole that he told and how people were standing there laughing. Well, this is something we will enjoy forever in the presence of God. So I think knowing that that is what awaits us. In fact, Jesus actually promises us in Luke 6 that one day those who weep now will laugh. That's a promise mm -hmm. of laughter in heaven. Meanwhile, what we mm -hmm. do is we front load to our own lives mm -hmm. today what God has promised will be our eternal state. So all the reasons for which I will enjoy Christ and enjoy God's family throughout eternity, I don't have to wait until I die to find out how I should have lived. God has told me yes. and... He has not only given me his word, he's given me his indwelling spirit to empower me, to live out the realities of his word, including rejoicing even in times of suffering in this life. Taking the heaven that will be mine forever, the new earth that will be ours, where we'll serve and worship our Lord in complete happiness for eternity, and then tasting and seeing that the Lord is good right here, right now, today.